people. I've just set off to go to Blackthorn Fishery in Oswald Street. It's about an hour run. Just coming, turning off in, going into Wrexham. Four days, four nights carp fishing. We'll see how it goes, the weather's lovely. Hopefully they're going to come out and play. And I'll catch you all later, as soon as we hit Blackthorn Fishery. And I'll start getting set up and get the luggage off, get the lodge set up, get my rods set up. See so how it goes. corner just there We've got my three rods set up, got the bags on, and they're whacking them out there about half four. And I've been told, just been told by the boss, that uh, they don't really start showing until about 11 o'clock tonight. So I'm leaving my bags out there until until tonight. Hopefully I'll get one tonight. If not, they'll be in until the morning. And it's choppy out there, it's cold. But look at this, you come in, stand against the radiator. <laughs> oh, that's bliss. That's bliss. Right, good evening people. We're all set up, we're all ready to go. We've got the three rods set up. Another rod pod there. We've got the three rods set up. PVA bags on. Filled with pellet and oily crumb mix. Nice and tight. And I'm going to be putting them here tonight because I can't be asked to be honest with you to be spotting or anything like that because the, the sun's going down and I've been told to put them just on the edge of just on the edge there so I'm going to put all three rods along there tonight just going to do a bit of a pre-bait along there because I can walk up there and just chuck a bit in by hand 
that yes, I'm going to be there tonight. But he has told me around about 11 o'clock. That's where they all seem to sit, apparently, with, especially with the wind blowing into me. Tomorrow, I'm going to start spodding up and clipping. I'm going to have one on the edge there, one in the middle, one on the right hand side. But we'll see how it goes tonight. And if they start biting tonight, I'm going to keep them over there, I think. I've also been told there's a little marker out there. I don't know if you can see it. It's somewhere out there, there's a little marker, and he's told me on the left. On the right there, there's a nice little gravel bar. I've got all your free rods out there. We'll see how he goes. Like I say, I'm going to put my free rods in now and leave them. Get a bit of grub. A uh, couple of bottles of beer, why not? It's a holiday as well. And get any, get any action through the night. I'll, I'll get back to you. If not, I'll film through the night anyway. But if I don't get any action through the night, then I'll see you all tomorrow morning. Well, good evening guys, we're all settled in now, as you can see I'm sat inside the lodge because it's a bit choppy out there, I've got the three rods in, PVA bags, pellets, and I've got a little wafter on each rig, uh, I'll tell you what, this is my first time night fishing, and it's some scary shit man. <laughs> I've got my platform at the edge, which is just about losing the light now. So I've got my head torch. I don't want to be going in there, because I'm going to be having a beer in a minute. And I don't want to be going in there if I get a bite, believe me. I will show you later when I go out there, how close I am to the lake, the lakeside. But this is a total different experience for me, honestly. I think I'll be all right once tonight's gone. Uh, and I've had my first night here. It's looking good, but it's like I say, it's a bit cold out there at the moment. It's a, the water's a bit choppy, but it's supposed to be dying down about 10 o'clock. Hopefully, we'll have, we'll have a bit of action tonight. But the, the owner did say, put your rods out, just leave them out there, don't bring them in. Because they do take a while to come out and play, which is what I want them to do. So, I'll do another video in a minute. I'm just going to... Grab yourself a beer and I'll see you later.
video on all the bait and uh, rig method and bait what I'm using, pre-bait, etc. That's my spod mix there. That's the spod mix, which we're going in the spod. It's a mixture of the complex boilie, which is black corn fisheries own boilie, uh, freezer type, because you're not allowed to use shelf life. Sweet corn, hemp, boilie crumb. A few maggots in there. There you go. That's the spod mix. A loose feed every now and then. Chopped up, chopped up boilies, which is the com complex tea again. Blackthorn fisheries own make. And that's what I crumb them up in there. And cord a crumb sole, and that's what I do my chopping up with. Send pole boilers in there, push it down, chops the boilers up. And like I say in the mix, I've got sweet corn. Sweet corn in there. This is complex teas, black corn fishery uh, freezer boilie. We're only allowed to use that, we can't use any sort of shelf life. There's my boilie crumb in there, a bit of loose feed, chuck a bit of that in every now and then. And then some loose pellets, which is the krill, krill mixed pellets, different sizes, 2mm, 4mm, 8mm. Catapult that in a few times, there's my particles that I'm using. That's the PVA friendly, ready to use particles that goes in my spot mix. As you see there, it's a mixture of hemp, maple, maples. Okay, my rig bait. I'm sticking to I'm sticking to the PVA bag, uh, pellet style, nice and tight. And I'm using wafter. I've got quite a choice here. At the moment, I'm using banana wafter, which is banana and peanuts. I'm using the stinker wafter. Blue cheese and garlic. Jesus Christ. Whew. That's a stinker. And the ones I've got on at the moment on my swim. I've got these pineapple and banana wafters. They're lovely. Oh, I love them. Give me a buzz. <laughs> and on top of my wafter, I've got a little clip on the top. And in the clip I've got five maggots which is presented nicely and like I say I can change and chop as I go along because I've got a box full I've got a box full all different sorts of we've got their toppers pop-ups bloodworm dumbbells all different sizes small little small little wafters chocolate and orange all different flavors like I say I can change them as I go along that's all the bait and the rig bait I'm using on the, the four day session. And if I need to change any, I will do. Thank you. Well, it's half past one. Nice and quiet and nice and peaceful. I'd rather it be busy and catching carp. But this is what carping's all about sitting patiently, waiting, waiting for hours, waiting, to, waiting for the carp to come into your swim. It's all a waiting game, but like I say, it's very quiet today. Not as choppy as yesterday, not as cold as yesterday, it's warmed up a bit today. I've seen them circling over there, which is where one of my, one of my pellet bags is sitting. So hopefully he's having a little homing in session before tonight, because I've been told they're pretty quiet in the daytime, but they do get more active at night, early morning, four o'clock-ish in the morning. And that's when I got my my, bite, my bites last night. So I've got the bags out there, I'm keeping them out there, I'm not bringing them in. There's no point, because the pellet bag is just sat on the bottom, waiting for the carp to come. But this is carping, like I say. It's a waiting game. Just waiting for them buggers to pop up and give me a buzz. Good afternoon. Just making up tomorrow's bags. For tomorrow's session. PVA bag. Pallet mix. Pallet mix goes in the bag. Put my rig inside the bag. And for tomorrow's, uh, tomorrow's up bait. 
I've got some lovely pink pop-ups. Lovely pink pop-ups. About an inch off the water. Come on, carpies. <laughs> Okay, which is, these, are, these are the rigs I'm going to be using tomorrow. This is an inline lead. Oh shit, I just took myself. <coughs> inline lead. And the, the idea of that is, if the carp does happen to hook himself, he pulls away. And if, I, if I get snapped and the carp's still got this in his, in his mouth, if he gets snapped and he gets caught in the weeds, the lead pops off. I, I like using these, I use these all the time and I think they're a good little rig. It's only like four inches, four inches long. And on here I've got a pop I've got a pop-up. I don't know what flavour is, Secret 7. Secret 7 pop-up. And the idea is this will be in my bag full of pellets, which is obviously fill me pellet with fill me bag with pellets, obviously. That'll be the rig will be sat inside the bag, so that will be on the bottom of the bag, lead at the top. So then, when the bag dissolves, all the pellets are on the bottom of the lake. This will be sitting nicely on the bottom. Got a little weight on there, you can see that, about an inch, because I only want it to sit up like that. You can get that? So it's on the bottom of the lake. That's how much it will sit up though. Okay, about, about a, that'll be popping up. I can turn it around that way. That'll be popping up nicely. Carp comes along, boom. Well, I'm open. So I'm making my bags up, like I say, for tomorrow's session. I'm gonna make six bags up, three in the morning, three at night. Like you say, you've got to try different tactics here. Um, you've got to try different tactics. I'm trying a bit of everything. And I'm trying, I'm gonna try the pop up. In case I'm sitting on some weed or silt or whatever on the bottom of the bottom of the lake. Um, if that don't work, I think on my last day on Thursday, I'll just pop a boilie on some of the black fawn fisheries uh, complex boilie. Which is that one? The small little boilie, freezer boilie, because you can't use shelf life life bait on here. So if these don't work tomorrow. Firstly, I'm going to try the boilie, what they feed them with. I'm so determined to catch one. <laughs> I'm trying a bit of everything, like I say. Uh, so I'm going to have a quick bag and I'm going to make my bags up. The afternoon's gone. It's not gone too well. It's been pretty quiet actually. I haven't seen anything showing at all today. It was earlier this morning, and I think it's a, an early morning, late night venue at the moment with this cold weather. So you can see where the wind's blowing there, blowing the warmer water down to the margins. So tomorrow, warm water down to the margins where it's not too deep. I'm going to fish over there. Over there in that far corner. I've been told that's a nice little spot. So I'm going to put two rods down there. One there. I'm going to probably put one about there. I'm going to feed it well tonight. Hopefully they come in. And I'm going to another one. Just on the edge of that island there. On the edge of that island, so I'm going to have all three round here. I'm going to bait that up, and hopefully that's where the hopefully that's where they're riding. But I've been told it's you know it's quite active at night time, which I know that from last night. Had a fair few blips last night. It could have been liners. You, you never know. Um, but they're in here. You know we're here to catch them. Rods down in the water. 
because the line's laying nice and flat along the lake bed. So I don't get no liners tonight. My rods were popped up last night and it could have been a few liners, but um, my line's lying nicely now along the lake bed. Let's give it a crack and see what happens. Man, it's, 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 it's a bit colder today. You can see the sun over there coming down. It's just going down. It's around about five, quarter past five. So I'm going to chuck some bait in over that area, ready for tomorrow morning. That should hopefully draw them in. And we'll see how it goes tonight. Like I say, I'm just waiting for the sun to get out. At the moment I've got one out there, one out there and one out there. So I'm going to chuck some loose feed in in a minute. Hopefully that will draw them into the, into the warmer water over here a little bit. And Sue's just putting some grub on, so I'm going to have a bit of tea, and I'm going to bait up over there, and later on tonight when it's a bit darker, oh, that was my finger, <laughs> I'm going to bait up around that area there, because I'm going to be fishing there tomorrow. If that fails, I've been told by Ben, the fishery owner, this little corner here, you can see my finger. This little bend here, they can come round here. So, you know, if we don't get any joy tonight or tomorrow, Thursday, my final day, I'm just going to try around there when the water's a bit warmer to feed that up and see what happens. Okay, if anything happens through the night, don't worry, I'll come online and hopefully I'll show you a lovely carp. Good evening people, just an update, well not, not a lot to update, it's been quiet all day today, I've not seen much action, the, the, the other two guys on the other pegs, they've not had any liners or catches, so I'm not the only one, yeah it's getting a bit choppy again out there tonight, a bit cool, a bit cooler, but the, the rigs are set up, all three rods are back in for the night session. So there's still hope. Um, still got two days, so you know there's still hope. But it is cold out there, so if anything, at the end of the session, if I blank, I'll take it down to the weather and it's too cold. So come on, Carpy, come out and play. I only want one run. I'm feeding you bloody steak and chips. Good afternoon. Change of tactics today, people. I've been in the inside here. That's what I've been getting most of my bleeps in the night times. and I'll get all three rods in. 
all set up nicely there. Aim in the right way. We'll give it a crack. Right, for today's session, people, let me show you what I'm, I'm on about when I'm fishing. Okay, so just take a little walk up the track up here. This is where I'm going to be aiming at today. Well, I'm hoping to. There's your island over there. I can walk up here later. Walk up here later. This is where I'm aiming for here. Okay, there's your island. I won't talk too loud because the carp could be in there at the moment. I've just got a funny feeling. I don't know why I've got a funny feeling about this bay. Like this little swim here. I really do like this, so I'm going to give this a shot for two days, I think, down this little section. And that's where we are over there, look. So I'm aiming for here. I'm aiming for anywhere in there, in there. Looks a nice little spot that does. It's not too far out. Like I say, I can always walk up here and Always walk up here and feed them nice and slowly. A couple of handfuls now and then. I do like this. I've just got a funny feeling, I don't know what it is. About that little bit there, I really have. So I've been getting my bites there. But for some reason I just think they're coming over here at night time. We can, we can, we, we can but try, you know. That's what I'm here for, a bit of experience. It's a lovely day, the sun's coming out, the wind's died down. And I just, I don't know, I just keep going back to that spot, me, in that corner. So for the next two days, I'm going to try over there. The, the gaffer did tell me they can settle down over there in the evening. So I'm going to give it a bit of feed, try and draw them in. Because I've been fishing over here in the open. And I'm not very keen on it to be honest. I've been getting me bites, me bleeps, liners, whatever you want to call it, near that spot there. So I'm definitely going to give that a hit.
Good morning. Change of tactics today. Looking nice and calm. I put a bit of feed out there. I'm going to chuck some sweet corn out in a minute and some uh, some of my spot mix in three spots that I'm going to fish. And the gaffer's just been round and he's told me last night that the chap caught one on my left hand side about 8 pm. Uh, 32.6 it was. He's give us a little tip. He's just said um, he's just used four grains of sweet corn. Four grains of sweet corn on his on his hook bait. PVA bag pellets, a couple of bits of sweet corn in there. Sat there, waxed it in at 12 o'clock, pulled it out at 8 o'clock. So that's my tactic today. I'm going to get these three set up now, put them out there, and see what happens. That's a good one. Nice and sunny day today on our last day. I'm hoping that this sun is warming the water up a bit. It's looking nice and calm out there. So for tonight's session I'm setting three traps. I'm going to put one over there in the middle. So if they come round that bend, they'll go past it there. 
We've got a little marker out there, so I'm going to have one out in the open there. I'm going to have one out in the open there. So if they do come around my swim, I'm hoping to set two traps to trap them. And if all goes well, and we do get a decent sized carp out of here at the end of this four day session, it's been, a, it's been enjoyable. Totally enjoyed it. It's been nice and relaxing, even though we haven't caught yet. But it's still tonight, so we'll see how it goes. And I've got a funny feeling I'm going to catch one in the dark, and I've never caught a fish in the dark. And if it all goes wrong, knowing my luck, I can see me going over that, into that. But on the bright side, we've got a little boat there. <laughs> got a little boat so if I do go in so you can obviously pick that up I'm sure I don't know where the oars are probably underneath she can come out and rescue me if in doubt she can chuck the lifeboy in for me <laughs> you know we're in a good little position here there you go if I do go in there's the lifeboy there's the boat there's my platform if I go in wish me luck guys <laughs> right guys good afternoon this is our final day of our four day carping session we've had no luck so far so I'm going to set three traps today I've picked my spots out and I'm going to try and trap them in this bay down here somehow because I have tried everything possible on this lake to try and catch one of these lovely carp I've tried boilies wafters pop-ups everything possible pellet bag PVA bag it's nothing I'm doing wrong it is a very hard lake to fish which I've found out this is it's a new it's a new experience to me but I'm learning as I go along and get some tips off the other two guys that are here and the tip the tip of the day is the guy on the on my left hand side he had one out last night 32 pounds six ounce nice mirror carp and, the, and his little tip to me was all he put on his all he put on his end rig was three bits of sweet corn. Cast his rod out, 12 o'clock, eight o'clock, boom. Nice 32 pound carp. So for tonight's session, I'm just gonna try and do exactly the same and leave them there all night. I'm gonna be casting them out about five o'clock. So I've got some pellet bags. You can see there, soaking in the sweet corn, sweet corn cloudy, cloudy glug. There you go, I'm soaking my pellet bags in that, hopefully to attract a cloud to try and draw them in a bit more. On my hook bait, I'm going to be putting some Robin Red durable hooker on there, 12 mil. They give out a lovely smell and a nice red cloud. And on top of that hooker, I'm going to put two, piece, two or three pieces of sweet corn attached onto the top of that. Hopefully that will draw them in tonight. Only time will tell. So like I say, it's, it's been an absolutely dream, absolute dream coming here. It's a lovely lodge, it's a lovely lake. We know they're in there, because one came out last night. I will be returning, but I'll be returning in, in the warmer months, because I think this could be a decent spot here where, where we are on, on warmer days. The water is absolutely freezing, so it hasn't helped. And as you, all you carpers know, Trying to get these 30, 40 pounders out is not an easy game, which I found. Um, but like I say, we've got we've got the rest of the day to go, and the, the last night time session. And who knows, I might just catch one on me last night. Wish me luck, guys. Look at the stars, look how they shine for you, there's not a lot I can do, to catch a bloody cop. Well, good evening people. The last night of the uh, four-day carp fishing session that we've had here at Blackthorn Fishery. 
I've got my three rods out. I put them out at five o'clock with um, all the sweet corn that you, you can think of. The pellets have been soaked in sweet corn glug, glug. That's in the pellet bag. I've got two bits of sweet corn on, on the end of the hook line. And it's been a tough week. They're not playing ball. I've tried every bait possible from a boilie to a wafter, a snowman, maggots. Tonight I'm on the sweet corn because that's what I've been told that's been catching here lately because the chap on my left hand side has had two carp this week on sweet corn. So we're giving it a last shot tonight. Like I say, I've put the rigs out at five o'clock. It's now, what time is it, sir? now 25 to 11 so they've been in a good five hours but sometimes from 11 to about four it, it gets pretty active so we'll wait we'll wait and see there's still hope still might get one tonight but like I say I'm not disappointed I've enjoyed the experience it's my first time on a, on a fishing venue like this with a 30 and 40 pound carp they're not easy to catch and like they always say the bigger they are but the harder they are to catch. They're very wary. I can I, I can see that by the lake. Like like I say, there's three anglers on this lake. Only two have come out this this week. Um, and that's it. You know, it's it's the way it is. I'm not I'm not disappointed. Like I say, we fight another day. But there's still hope tonight. And this has been a a real learning curve for me in carp fishing. I'm used, to, I'm used to fishing smaller lakes and it's not a problem pulling the carp out. I know it's not me tackle. Um, I've used it, the same thing I'm using here is the same thing I use at Hampton Springs and I've pulled out carp there. They're just bigger, the bigger, the bigger carp in here, they're more wary. And I think it'll be a decent lake in the summer. So I'm gonna, we're gonna come down again in the summer. Um, but I'm, I'd like to dedicate this video to two people. One, my partner Sue for putting up with me this week. I've been a pain in the ass. I know that. It's not an it's not an easy life. And I, I want to thank her for cooking all the meals, looking after me, and putting up with me. It, it's not easy. <laughs> and the other person I'd like to dedicate de dedicate it to is my lovely mother-in-law, Janet Neald. She's not been very well for the the last past couple of months. And I want to thank uh, and uh, Vince for looking after the house for us. And we'll see you. We'll see you tomorrow. Hopefully, this isn't the last video because I'm still, I'm still adamant I'm going to catch one tonight. But I've been saying that every bloody night, you know. Um, but we'll crack on anyway. And if we don't catch through the night, adios. It's been a, it's been a good experience. And relaxing. And relaxing. Until next time. Hopefully in the morning with a nice 40 pounder. Adios. Yes, it's me. I'm back again. Like I did say, I am a pain in the ass. I'd also like to add a, add a, add a little bit onto the last video. I'd like to thank um, another three people. That's Marcus, Samuel and Daniel. Who's been coaxing me. All three of them have been coaxing me throughout the week. Giving me little tips. Um, how to present my rig where to find my spots, where to, what sort of bait to put on. And I, I'd like to say thank you to you three guys. Um, I've done everything that you've said possible and I've, I've tried everything possible, what you've told me to do. They just, they just weren't playing ball lads, honestly. It's been, it's been a very tough week. Um, but I'd like to thank all three of you for the tips and, and all the advice. Thank you very much. Right, good morning people. Well, that was an exciting night last night. Um, not one blip in the night, apparently. It was very quiet. And we didn't get what I come for. But then again, I didn't expect miracles, to be honest. It is one of the hardest venues I've ever fished. And now I know what it's all about when you're trying to get these big carp. It's not an easy game. I've tried everything possible. But that's, that's a learning curve for me. And... I'll move on to the next one. I should definitely be back here in the summer months. It's, it's, it is a cracking venue and it's a nice little spot over here. And I think in the warmer months, we, we'll probably do better. 
It was a bit cold, and, and all week there's been three anglers here, myself and two others. Me and the other person blanked, and the, the guy on the left, he, he's had two out. So really, all in all, in the week, there's only been two carp come out. So it just proves and shows you how clever they are. And they don't want to play, really. And I'll take that down to the, the colder months. And we'll come back in the summer and we'll see if we can pull one out then. Um, it's, it's been enjoyable talking to you all, showing you the lake, Blackthorn Fishery, Oswa Street. If you're ever thinking of coming down here, I'd certainly, I'd certainly take up the opportunity. It's not a bad price and the accommodation is absolutely spot on. You've got your fishing peg right outside your door. You've got your missus to cook your meals for you. Thank you, sir. <laughs> you know, you, you, you can't beat it. So if you ever want to come down here, lads, and fish this, I'd certainly recommend it and bring your partner with you. Put your feet up, put your rods out, chill out. That's what it's all about. Anyway, as I say, we blanked, but that's carping. We move on to the next one. I'm not disappointed. I've totally enjoyed it, and so is Sue. And we move on to the next one, which is March the 17th. Myself, my two lads are going down to Angels Lakes in Bridge North for, for three nights. It's a smaller venue. It's a smaller lake. And going back again, this lake is three and a half lakers. And you've actually got to come out here to see it. And there's only 120 carp in here. But you're talking, there's nothing under £25. Okay, and the biggest, as far as I know, is £44. So a three and a half acre lake with 120 carp in this big area you can understand why they are hard to catch but if you use the right method and the right way you will get one as has been proved by the chap on the left hand side but like i say anyway we move on to angels lakes on march the 17th down in bridge north it's a lot smaller lake so it might get a bit uh, simpler for me and i've got the two lads to learn me a few things because my target this year really is in my head is a, is a 20 pounder that's all I'm after is a 20 pounder and I definitely know I'll crack it this year and I'm going to learn a few things off the two lads clipping up etc because I think all this carping especially for these big ones is all about hitting that right spot on the money every single time and just leaving it there don't feed the whole area etc etc just put your rod in on the same spot day in day out they'll come to you because that's what I've learned off this bloke on the left hand side He's just been putting a little small pellet bag out there, same spot, hitting, hitting it all the time. Three pieces of sweet corn, and he's had success. So I've learned a lot since I've been here. Anyway, guys, I'm going to sign off now because we've got to do the packing up and get back down to Cheshire. We're going to see the lovely mother-in-law, who's been looking after the house all, uh, all week. Thank you, Jan, and thank you, Vince, for doing that, and we'll see you soon. Till next time, guys. Tight lines. Adios. It's been a pleasure. Goodbye, Blackthorn. It's been a pleasure.